Fish move. Yeah. Probably wasn't the best tactic wise, um, game boxing, but when you get lane one and uh, well, you know it's going to be a 47, 48 race, it's like tough. So it wasn't the greatest positioning, but close strong all the way through, just trying to be patient. And obviously, there's got two more, so just this one was was uh, getting a big cue. Yeah, it kind of looked like, I think, 150 to go once you sort of realized he was on your shoulder, you had that extra gear ready to go. Yeah, like when I realized they were too wide, I was like, there's no reason to go. At, at 200, there's nowhere to go. And I was ready to go. And so I just kind of waited and then. I glanced over and saw Abe and uh, kind of just used him. And then as soon as I got on that front stretch, it was just like, just get to the line first. So that was it. Yeah. So a couple big guys, Brazier and Wendell, both DNS just today. Are you bummed you don't get to race them? Or what do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, it's disappointing, but it's a tough year. It's an odd year. And so uh, for those guys, it's just all about keeping healthy and running fast times this year. So I'm sure that we'll see him in July and August running fast on the circuit. And uh, that's all you can wish. It's good to see Boris back out here racing. And, Told him it's just all about getting healthy at this point and staying healthy and lucky enough I'm healthy going into this. Yeah, is that what they told you that they were injured? Did you know that? Um, I have I have, I talked to Donovan a little bit, but I don't know anything of the extent of like what it is. But I just I don't think he's 100 percent is what he's saying. So that's I guess something you got to ask him. Yeah, I mean, it's all about patience and, and taking your time and making sure you're healthy. I think it's the biggest thing that we've worked with is just the last over the last really 12 months since USA's last year. Um, my transition from Levade, Coach Levady to uh, Coach Alberto, that like that transition period was all about getting me back to 100 percent and then that stuff set me back in the fall again. And then it was all about just easing our way back yeah, into it. And so finally starting to feel that rhythm yeah. again. And, been that confidence again. Your clothes the last couple of months have looked a lot like it's really sharp. Do you feel that physically? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just that's the confidence and just getting that physical strength back in and just being able to do workouts to help that. I mean, you can only do, you can only run so fast when you're injured and like we can only run so fast in the indoor season. We couldn't run that fast because it just wasn't ready for it. So now we're able to actually run pretty fast and run some fast 200s, run some fast 400s and really work on that turnover. Yeah, have you backed off some of that 5K style workouts you said you were doing in the early season? Is this more like um, more Not necessarily. I mean, we're still doing tempos, still doing long runs, still doing Ks. Um, that's just, we got that at a point where we're happy with it, so now we're able to take a workout we could have done here and had some speed in, or the workout we are doing more moderate, mild stuff, we're able to do more 100 focus stuff. So like, we're not ignoring it by any means, still the same mileage and still cranking out the long runs and the tempos and the Ks just like I was in the spring. You know, in, in addition to that surge you showed on the home stretch, your your form, your the smoothness that you had two years ago seems to come back. Is that something you've been working on, and how are you able to recultivate that? Yeah, it's just I think at that point it's just confidence and falling back and practice it and practice, and um, it's a lot easier to get out here and be excited and run fast when when you want to be out here and you're feeling good and you're 100% and you've done the workouts. It's it's a tough sport to get out on the track and run like your old self when you haven't been able to really do it in practice. Do you, do you miss that 114 degree temperature we had in Sacramento last year? <laughs> Absolutely not. No, I enjoy this. This is fun. I love I love coming here and uh, I love this track. I've had great history the last couple of years. So yeah. it's fun to be back here for sure. Thanks, guys. Thanks.